some plants, however, do not give their pollinators any reward of any kind. In the warmer parts of Europe lives a whole group that bamboozle their pollinators into thinking that they're going to get a really sensational reward, a sexual one. Their little orchids and their flowers reproduce remarkably closely the signals that enable a male bee or wasp to recognize a female of the same species. Several have blue patches. One is fringed with what looks like fur. A wasp's wings in the right light do flash iridescent blue and its abdomen is covered with thick brown fur. A female wasp also pumps out an identifying perfume. But the orchid does the same and the result is irresistible. As the male wasp nuzzles forward in his attempts to mate, he butts the pollinia which stick to him like yellow horns. He seems to be well aware that something has happened to him but there's nothing he can do about it, and he flies off to try his luck elsewhere. Which, of course, is what the orchid requires, because this time he deposits the pollen on another bogus female. The hairs on many of these orchids run downwards, as though the female is sitting with her head up. But some reproduce her clinging head down, and then the male must land that way if he wants to mate. And he will get the pollen stuck to his rear. This one too seems fully aware that he's got rather more than he bargained for. The orchid's mimicry is so convincing and enticing that sometimes a flower will attract a whole scrum of sex-crazed suitors. Some are trying to get to the orchid and will inadvertently deliver the pollen. Other males, since there seems to be a full house, attempt to mate with one another. <laughs> <laughs> 